Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Carla. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So the video I have for you guys today is a face full of drugstore beauty favorite. So if you guys are like me and you like shopping on a budget but having really good products, I have here for you guys a full face. Foundation, concealer, lipsticks, mascara, lashes, girl. Get yourself some lashes. We looking like on a budget. These are my favorite drugstore products. I use these every day. Lots of people are probably tired of me going up in there and buying the same products every day. They're probably like, girl, I gotta try something different. It doesn't make it flush. You know what? I don't want to be judged by you right now, Ulta workers. Always coming in there looking at me like, do you even belong in here? Yes, I do. Okay, I might not look like it because I look like a hobo without makeup, but I do belong in here. So if you want to see, what products I have for you guys today at a really inexpensive price. Go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so usually what I start off with would be my priming. I go in with the primer after I moisturize. To moisturize my face, I usually use the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Primer. This is a really good moisturizer for your face. Uh, me, since I do have a little bit of oily skin, it helps by hydrating it but not leaving it extra sticky or extra oily than it would usually be throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and just moisturize my face really quick. So after I apply that all over my face, I will go in with clean fingers and then we'll start to rub it in. Okay, so now that my face is moisturized, I go in with my primer. This primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This primer basically broke the internet when Jeffree Star started talking about it on his YouTube channel. So yeah, I will go in with this primer. It is actually really pore filling. I have a lot of huge pores. I used to suffer with acne when I was younger, so I still suffer with acne now, but yeah, it just fills in my pores and it helps with the base. Um, it makes your foundation look flawless. Yeah, it just makes you feel like a bad beat when I'm using this primer. I don't use any other primer but this primer, so. I'm almost done with it. I do have another one, but I do wanna, you know, finish using this before I open the other one up. I get a lot of compliments, actually, about my foundation. When I use this primer, it was like, oh my god, your skin is so clear. If only they knew that my face looks like this. Y'all would not be telling me my face looks clear because, girl, you see this? You see this? So after I prime my face, I usually go in with my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I do like using the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. By L. This is the shade medium brown. It matches me the best that it can. They don't have a darker shade than this one, but I feel like it branches me pretty nicely. Elf has been coming through with the products, you guys. Honestly, Elf killing the game at the drugstore. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I usually use the Morphe M158 brush um, to go in with my brows. Okay, so I finished my brows. Usually my brows take me a little bit longer. Clearly, my brows aren't twins, but they're sisters. So, you know, I always struggle a little bit more on my brows. But they're done. Like I said, I really do love this brow pomade cream shiz. It is really smooth um, on your eyebrows. It applies perfectly. It is not too waxy to the point where it leaves your brows kind of like sticky or anything. If you want a really good, inexpensive brow cream pomade thing, I really recommend this e.l.f. one. So after I do my brows, I do like going in to conceal them, um, you know, carve them a little bit so they don't look as rough. Usually for this, I go in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I go in with the shade Light. Um, usually because I like having a little bit of more highlight around my eyebrow. So I will go in with this. Okay, and now once you look like this, I know girl looks a little scary, but I'll go in uh, with my spoolie and just brush off the front to make it look a little bit 
nicer. Wow, so it's got a brow bag. Honestly, without brows, I really be looking like a naked mora. Sit, you need some help. Oh my god, okay, so I used to have the bushiest, best eyebrows ever. And then I went to go get my eyebrows waxed by some lady and she messed up my brows, bro. So bad, and now I have to deal with this. Like, just come on. Come on, like, look, come on. <laughs> Okay, so usually after I do my eyebrows, there is more to the eyebrows, but right now I'm just gonna be like this. I usually conceal my eyelid to go in with whatever eyeshadow look I wanna do or my eyeliner. So today I'm gonna just go, you know, basic, just eyeliners. I take the NYX Full Coverage Concealer and I conceal my eyelids so they don't look so baby, you know? Usually after I conceal my eyelids, I like to set it with a translucent powder if I'm not going to do my eyeshadow. So today since I'm not going in with any eyeshadow, I will set my eyelids with a translucent powder. I like setting my eyelids with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in translucent extra coverage. I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyelids really quick. This powder, girl, I don't know if you saw it flying, but it actually smells really good. It got all over my hand. You see? Okay, so I'll take a little bit on any fluffy brush and I'll just set my eyelid with it. Okay, so I set my eyelid. So now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. So for eye liquid eyeliner, actually, I have a few different options of what I like to use. All of my eyeliners of preference are by NYX. So my go-to go-to is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's this one, it's the little brushy brush thing. I also like the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This one is the felt tip. It's like the thicker um, little felt tip. And I also like the, that's the point liquid liner. Um, it's a smaller little tip, so usually if I keep messing up on the point of my liner, I'll go in with this one. Today I'm gonna use the Epic Ink Liner, and I'm just gonna do my eyeliner really quick. So now I'm going to go in with the matte liquid liner. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm done with my eyeliner. For the base, I go in with the Epic Ink Liner and I'll go in with this one. And I'll go over it to make it a little bit darker. So after eyeliner, I go in with mascara. And my favorite drugstore mascara is the Voluminous Smash Paradise by L'Oreal Paris. And this mascara is the best mascara ever. My eyelashes are really super tiny. And they don't grow up, they grow straight. My mom's grow straight, my sister's grow straight, my dad's grow straight forward. They don't grow up. This one really helps me lift my lashes, but also build volume and length. So this mascara is really good for that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some. Okay, so I'm done with my mascara. Usually I only put one coat. Honestly, you only need one coat. It gives it enough length to connect with my falsies. And also when I'm just doing my basic, like everyday makeup with my glasses on, girl, cause sometimes putting on contact, let me tell you, a struggle. I've been poking my eye like crazy. Kinda surprised my eye hasn't popped on my head. So yeah, so this mascara, like I said, does got amazing volume, especially for somebody that does not have very long lashes like me. So for my false eyelashes, I buy mine at like my local beauty supply store. If you guys live in San Antonio, there is one off Lawson. I think it's called the BMP Beauty Supply Store. They sell these there. These are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite false eyelashes ever. These are the Izzy 3D Lashes. These specific ones are the Luxury 3D Lashes in 714M. Let me take them off the box. These are $2.99. $2.99 y'all for these lashes. Like, are you kidding me? Bomb as heck. These lashes I'll wear like on an everyday basis. I'm going out with some friends to like a movie and I want to do like a lash, I'll wear these. So my favorite eyelash glue would be the Duo Eyelash Glue. This is the brush on clear one um, and someone that comes in a green pack. So this is a really good eyelash glue and it'll stick forever.
Okay, so this is one eyelash put on. I don't know if you can see the volume on these lashes, but these are the lashes I was wearing on my last video. Not my last video, but my first video. I love these lashes. They are literally my favorite eyelashes ever. A lifetime supply of these lashes. I would be the happiest person to literally ever exist. So let me go ahead and put on the other lash so I don't look like this. Also, while applying the other lash, I realized I brought the wrong glue. This one literally has nothing in here. Literally nothing. So I was struggling, girl. So these are the, eyel the eyelashes put on. They are my favorite lashes ever, like I said. I really do recommend these if you can find them in your local beauty shop. Literally 10 out of 10. And they also have a lot of cute different styles. These are by far my favorite, the Zen 14M, but they do have a lot of different options. Um, if you want a little bit of a um, bigger lash or a smaller lash, they do have those options available for you. For my foundation, I use the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Matte Foundation. This foundation has amazing coverage for only being $8.99. I buy this at Ulta. I can't really find it um, at Walmart or Target anywhere. They used to sell it at Walmart, but they stopped. I don't know what happened, but I buy this at Ulta. This foundation shade matches me. Well, I feel like it matches me perfectly. I don't know if you're going to be able to sell on camera. Sometimes, you know, it looks a little bit different. But in person, this foundation matches me perfectly. And it is in the shade Sand. This is my favorite foundation, like I said, ever. I usually do one pump here, one pump here, and then blend it. Whatever's left, I'll put like around the rest of my area of the face. So I look like I'm going to go fight in like a glam more. You know what I mean? So taking the Morphe M439 brush, this is the brush that I use to blend in my foundation. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the foundation I'll put on my face. Yeah, like I said, I really do love this foundation. It has amazing coverage. It covers my acne pretty well, I feel like. Like I said, for $8.99, it's really, really good foundation. And I only use two pumps, so this foundation can last me for literally ever. It lasts me a couple weeks. Sometimes it lasts me a little bit over a month, so it's a really good foundation. So for concealer, I use the... Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light. I haven't found a concealer that does not crease under my eye or that covers my bags how I want them to cover. This is the closest thing I've ever like I've found that will not crease on me, nor will it slowly start fading away throughout the day and my bags are pe like peeking through. 100% recommend this. So using the same brush I blended out my foundation with, I'm gonna blend in my concealer. So after blending in your concealer, I go in with the airstone powder and I set my face using the same fluffy brush from earlier. So now that my face is set, remember earlier when I said that there was more to the eyebrows? So I go in with the Tessin Slash and Brow Gel Mascara and I'll apply it to make them stay and not move around throughout the day. So this is a really good product just to make your hair stay in place. You know, after setting my face and applying foundation and harming them a little bit, they lose a little bit of color. I go over it with this and it brought back a little bit of color to my brows and also just lets them stay in place throughout the day and not move around. So usually when I'm done with my concealer and then going back with my brows, I go in with bronzer. My favorite bronzer is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. So as you can see, I hit pan on this. I bronze my face like crazy. I am a little bit darker in, you know, but love bronzing my face um, just to give it a little bit of more definition. This bronzer, it's amazing. It doesn't go gray on you. You know how sometimes there's those bronzers that you apply and the more you apply, it'll start going gray and look a little bit ashy. This bronzer doesn't do that. It blends out with any blush that I've used perfectly. And this shade specifically is 
good for my shade it doesn't look too yellow but at the same time it doesn't look too gray i'm gonna go in with the morphe e4 angled brush girl you gotta blend out that freaking double chin because you know my sister's been struggling with her double chin bro like for real okay so once you're done with your bronzer i usually go in with my blush this is the essence map touch blush in the shade peach me up this is my favorite blush literally ever this thing is 2.99 at ulta okay it is the best blush i have ever used in my entire life that is not an exaggeration if i had to throw away any other blush in my makeup vanity i'll throw all them away this one all you need it is so pigmented and this shade specifically i feel like matches my shade and it makes my cheeks look flattering you know Moving on to the highlighter and essential. Best highlighter I've ever had from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This highlighter, you know what? Let me just show you. With the Morphe M510. Are y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Girl, do you see this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Who is she? Damn. Let me go on the other cheek real quick. My other cheek's feeling a little left out. Sis. Oh my god. I am like upset. As you can tell on this one too, I already hit pan. You're glowing. The gods. So after this, you're almost pretty much done. All that's left to do is apply mascara on your lower lash line. Going again with the same um, Lash Paradise mascara. And now going in with your favorite lippy. Mine is the Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. I like all the shades, but today specifically, I'm gonna go in with Confident. Okay, so I really like the NYX lip lingeries just because they hold a lot throughout the day and the shade range of them are literally made for me. They have pinks and browns and nudes and purplies colors. Like they're just so, uh, honestly, these liquid lipsticks, girl, oh my God. Amazing, literally amazing. Okay, so all I have to do is Spray your face. I love the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Like I said earlier, I do have an oily face, so this makes my face stay pretty matte throughout the day. So I really, really, really recommend this setting spray if you have an oily complexion. Okay guys, so this is my finished face using my favorite drugstore beauty products. I feel like all the products that I use together, they don't leave my makeup looking cakey or anything like that. Yeah, I really hope that you guys were able to find some beauty products that you thought looked good or that you would want to buy for yourself. Um, like I said, all these products, I sit specifically for my complexion just because I am a medium skin tone. I also have oily skin. So all these products work perfectly with controlling the oil on my face and don't make me look like a mess. Girl. If you found any products here that you liked, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media and subscribe to my channel down below. My social media will be linked down as well. Um, so like I said, don't forget to follow me on that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.